building of the iconic integer house here at BRE was followed by a TV audience of millions when, back in 1998, Carol Vorderman presented the BBC series Dream House from here on the site. Its mix of off-site construction and innovative new build technologies changed the way we think about building houses. Precast foundations support timber walls with a U-value of 0.2, considered excellent 15 years ago and still very good today. The large conservatory provided year-round outdoor space and also helped provide passive wintertime heating for the house. But although the house was energy efficient, it wasn't built to modern air tightness standards. Louvered windows downstairs tended to mean the house could be hard to keep warm. In the light of these changes, BRE and partner British Gas have been working to bring the integer house fully up to date. Now fitted with a range of ultra energy efficient features and renamed the Smart Home, we hope that this will influence the next generation in the way that the original integer house did. So the front door uses the latest electronic locking technology, just like a car. Push the button, locks open, in we go. A key objective of the project has been to show the significant energy savings that can be made through smart technologies alongside fabric improvements like better air tightness. Throughout the smart home, the latest low energy and LED lighting has been used. The sensor in the ceiling is measuring the light levels and optimising them through the day. And the motion sensor in the corner will turn the lights off if the room is unoccupied. An FSC certified kitchen has been installed and an innovative new to market solar water heating system installed. And every socket in the house has an energy monitor connected to it, so users can see the impact that their behaviour has on energy use. An intelligent whole house living system is monitoring water use, energy use, security and ventilation in the home. It can also monitor the movements of the elderly, an important part of making sure that they're safe in their houses. The original ground source heat pump has been replaced by the latest in air source heat pump technology. This will heat the home via app enabled controls. The design of this house is unusual. We're downstairs, but in a bedroom. The living areas are upstairs. By building it that way up, during the day, warm air naturally rises and the living area stays warm and comfortable. And at night, you can come down here where it's cool and dark and quiet and therefore sleep more easily. Throughout the smart home, the white painted walls use an innovative new paint with light reflective particles, creating the illusion of added light and space in the room. And in the bedrooms, a three millimetre insulating plaster is used for the heat reflective paint to improve the thermal performance of the walls. So the large conservatory of the original house provided a useful outdoor living space. but now glazed with this innovative translucent PV system, provides most of the power requirements of the house. So upstairs in the study, we've got the recycled PVC window systems here. and Velux's latest triple glazed installation as well. And actually, this also shows some of the issues we had with the original house with 
air tightness gaps around some of the fittings and also along the skirting. In the original house, this room tended to overheat because of the lightweight structure. So to compensate for this, phase change material has been fitted behind the plasterboard. This absorbs heat when the room becomes warm, and gives it back as the room cools and evens out the temperature difference between day and night. The refurbished house serves as an outstanding example of how improvements can be made to homes, even those recently constructed. It'll help designers, specifiers and householders make decisions on how best to refurbish the homes they design and live in with innovative products, materials and smart technology.